welcome to new python tutorial so in python for mechanical engineer series we are going to see how to create more circle using python program let's get started so this is our two state to act by axial stress element so sigma x along the x direction sigma y along y direction and shear stress to x y So these are the formulas. The radius of the Mohr circle is given by sigma x minus sigma y by 2 square plus tau xy square and square root of this whole term. And in below formula sigma average is sigma x plus sigma y by 2. So now we will create new file. First, let's save it. Just uh, press Ctrl S. We'll save it in a Python format. So choose your uh, working directory, at, then give a name, and followed by .py extension. So it will consider as a Python file. So first, we need to import NumPy library. Import NumPy as np then import matplotlib.pyplot as plt so this is a matplotlib library to create the plots so first we will give the inputs sigma x sigma y and shear stress tau x y so give the inputs sigma x is equal to let's say 100 sigma y 50 and tau xy let's say 25 okay then we'll write the formula for radius of this more circle so, so now r is equal to np dot sqrt so this is the syntax for creating the square root of any term so first term is sigma x minus sigma y by 2 square so we will write that sigma x minus sigma y divided by, by 2 sigma y so I will write 0.5 into sigma x minus sigma y so I will apply complete bracket to this term then square so double star is a symbol of writing the index and tau xy square plus so I will write add a space tau xy square then close the bracket now we will write the formula of sigma average or average stress sigma x plus sigma y by 2 so I will give as an s average avj is equal to sigma x plus sigma y uh, in bracket we will write in a bracket divided by 2 So I will print this value of R. Let's see what value we get. So print R. Let's run it. So I will get 35.5. It's okay. Now we create one circle whose radius is equal to R. 
so what happens so when we want to create a circle we need to give the points so this is the radius r let's say this is the one point so there will be x coordinate and y coordinate of this point x coordinate will be r cos theta and y coordinate will be r sin theta so this is the theta so theta will be varying from 0 to 360 degree so it will collect all the points on the circle so we need to vary theta from 0 to 360 so we will create where theta is equal to np dot lin space 0 to 2 pi 360 is a 2 pi it should be in a radian 2 into np dot pi and we will take 360 values in between these two range 0 to 2 pi now I will write this formula x is equal to r cos theta x is equal to n r into n p r into n p dot cos theta and similarly y is equal to r into n p dot sin theta so theta will be varying from 0 to 360 degree so it will collect all the points so just see the how plot looks like plt dot plot x and y so run it by pressing ctrl b if you are using sublime text editor so plt dot show to show the plot yes run it yes it is creating the circle now we have to ensure that center of the circle is at appropriate position it is at now 0 0 so if you see center will be not exactly at a 0 it will be at a distance of sigma average stress plus r yes average plus r horizontal distance and vertical distance will be 0 so we had to add this add that average stress into x coordinate so here yes average plus r cos theta so let's run it again so here you can see center is not at exactly 0 from in horizontal direction so now we want to create axis this horizontal and vertical axis so we we'll create these lines So, if you see, here it is a sigma max or sigma 1, here it is a sigma 2. So, if you see, sigma 1 is equal to sigma average plus r and sigma 2 will be sigma average minus r. And I will add plus minus 10 so that it will extend through. So just I will copy that line my from my previous program. I will have already tried those program. So I will just copy paste. I will explain here. So my starting x point is sigma average minus r, and I will add minus 10. And my ending x point is sigma average plus r plus 10, and starting y point is minus r and ending y point is plus r so just i am adding 10 on both sides just to extend this line beyond the circle so you can add 10 20 so here it will be sigma average plus r plus 10 so i am giving a line as a dash type so 
in python there is command line style is equal to dash dash and color i am giving as a black so here you can see the line horizontal line is created so similarly we will create the vertical line so if I have my program already created program i will copy that line <coughs> so starting x starting y sorry starting x starting ending x and start y start end y so this is the syntax it should be in a square bracket so here we can see r y point is minus r and here y point is plus r so you can add plus 10 on this side you can minus 10 so similarly line style is dash type color black you can choose any color so let's run it so vertical line is also created so now we have to create these two inclined line and these two vertical lines which will represent the sigma x and tau x so let's let me draw this line i have to find out starting x of this point is sigma x starting y is minus tau xy and here x is sigma y and y coordinate is tau xy so similarly we will write the syntax for these lines so it is very easy so let's go to our text editor so i will copy from my previous program it is very easy it is nothing that much complicated just you need to know the starting x point ending x point starting y point and ending y point so these are my starting y ending y For vertical line, I am writing in same same code. Sorry, in same program line, I am writing all the these three lines. So I will go to this program now to find out the x and y point. It is very simple. So let's run it once again. So yes, you can see these lines are created. So these represent the sigma x. Now we want to give the title to the plot also. What is the x quantity? What is the y quantity? So plt dot title in bracket in inverted commas. Let's say mohor circle. Now plt dot x label. So x label should be sigma. So I want to give as a symbol of sigma. So there is a syntax. First type r, then in inverted commas symbol dollar, then slash type sigma, then dollar. So it will create the symbol of sigma. And similarly for y label it is a tau y label r inverted commas dollar symbol slash tau 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 and dollar again dollar so let's run it okay there is some error okay syntax is correct so label spelling is wrong so e l a b e l now rerun again yes so you can see sigma here on x axis on tau and y axis and title as a more circle so this is a one simple program to create the more circle so now let's change the values 
let's say play with the values 200 here you can type as per your wish 50 now run again okay such a nice plot we are creating with python code so it has created more circle by changing the values so you can play with the values plus negative 